Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here, uh, back with uh, another video today, and I've, I've kind of been wanting to get myself going on doing some non-MMO videos again, um, the channel's become a bit sort of MMO centric, but that's quite, that's all I've been playing really, it's all I've had the enthusiasm for, uh, but yeah, weather's got a bit better, uh, feeling a bit brighter, <laughs> so I've been playing some single player games, I've just tried to sort of, you know, uh, shorten the list, my list of games that I haven't played on, on, on the Steam uh, on the Steam account, and this this particular one is called I think it's pronounced uh, San Fua, I think it's pronounced uh, Towers of Werewolves Tome One. Uh, San Fua means I think it's I think it's uh, a term for dealing with a dangerous situation well, I, I, be I believe is is the meaning. And essentially, it's a tower defense game, um, very much in the uh, in the vein of Orcs Must Die, or but obviously with a different setting. Um, yeah, and, and the, the game does play quite differently as well. I'm finding. Um, it's it's it's. I've really enjoyed it so far. It's 11.99 on Steam, I think, uh, and I was unsure uh, until I realised that actually that I I, I I've, I've come to this game straight from Dead Space 3, uh, and I didn't play for, I didn't pay for Dead Space 3 because I got it free with the whole Sim City debacle that, that went on. Uh, but when I realised that that. Um, Death Space 3 probably would have cost me about 30 quid. <laughs> and that was that was a soulless, uh, joyless experience, really. Um, it, yeah, it, it didn't make me feel... It, it, it made me feel a lot better about paying 11 99 for this game. Um, because, I mean, to be fair, you know, this game has a lot of issues. Um, they obviously haven't had a lot of money to spend on, on the production values, and that's not their fault. Um, you know, the voice acting, the script... <coughs> Visually, it's not great. Uh, voice act, sorry, voice acting and the scripts particularly are quite bad, <laughs> but in a good way, in a funny way. Um, uh, yeah, visually it's not brilliant. Um, the gameplay itself's got a few issues, but holy smoke, I mean, it's got more character and, and soul than than Death Space Three as you know we could ever hope to have. Really, I mean, this is a game produced by developers who <coughs> are obviously very passionate about what they were doing, uh, whereas Dead Space Three developers, you know, bless them. I'm sure it wasn't their fault particularly. Uh, yeah, but they were just sort of essentially just trying to recreate what they did before. Uh, yeah, and it just had no soul. Um, but anyway, on to the game. Enough uh, enough waffling on about um, AAA gaming and how absolute shite it is. Thank God for indie developers. That's all. That's all I can say. Now we'll start. We'll start on the day I'm currently on. Uh, I haven't done this. I haven't done this particular level yet. So we'll see how we get on. Yeah, it certainly has got. I think the, I'm assuming the developers are Canadian. I think, and it does have a it does have a nice feel to it. Father, forgive me for I have sinned. I'm listening. Speak freely. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in the village, but it's if, well, as if we're all going crazy. I have dreams at night where I'm acting like a bloodthirsty animal. Go on. I have longings for red meat and <laughs> ideas about... I'm ashamed. If only you knew how ashamed I am. You're a mare, for God's sake. Let sort of ideas. Are mayor... Well, yes, yeah, sort of things Not only do. with my wife, but with all the women in the village. I know what's happening to you. It's the fault of my former servant, Josephine. She's a witch. Yeah, she's getting blamed for everything at the I moment. I always knew Josephine. there was something fishy about that girl. Say two Hail Marys and the Our Father. Evil lies in wait. May God bless you. Amen. So that's kind of the quality of the cutscenes and scripts and stuff. Not, you know, <laughs> not good. But it kind of does what it's supposed to do. Bravo. That was a lie worthy of a Pope, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the, the, the basic story, just a brief rundown of the story, is there's two, two brothers and a sister. You play one of the brothers. Um, you've got this. This you've got the guy there, the red-skinned guy in the suit, um, talking to the priest. He he's some sort of he's supposed to be the devil, I think, or some sort of demon. And essentially, what he's doing is he's he's turning all the souls of the humans in the town into werewolves at night, uh, and they attack your land, they attack your buildings. <coughs> I believe, ultimately, uh, he wants to get at the daughter. You're protecting her, and not the daughter, your sister. Um, you protect her from the werewolves and the other buildings as well. Um, she seems to be a descendant of some powerful shaman or witch. Uh, 
and 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 she she she's kind of seems to be possessed by some spirit as well i'm not sure if that's the, the whole shame and witchy thing going on but yeah she seems to be uh, a pretty powerful girl although she she doesn't seem to be aware of it and this this devil i i think is trying to um i, th I think he's trying to you know basically <coughs> kidnap her uh, and use her it also seems to be um uh like a, a group of native uh, native indians as well who who also know she is and they're interested in um you know interested in her as well although i don't think they're they're bad from what i can tell but the basic premise for, for, for us is to is to defend our buildings in, and, and our plot of land um during the night and survive till till morning now first of all visit the town there is a little there is a little village wolf's vale uh, and there's some shops you can go into uh, now the hotel now they all sell something you need so the, ho the hotel sells booze and stuff essentially and i'm going to buy myself a couple more of those because um, they're quite useful. Uh, that, that, that's, that's, that incre increases your stamina uh, to 100% for 10 seconds. And you'll see why stamina is really important um, when we get onto the action side of the game. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's that shop. Let's, let's go outside. We've <coughs> got the blacksmith. He sells you melee weapons. Mostly axes, it seems to be. Although well, I haven't been able to afford much uh, in the way of... Um, of up weapon upgrades at the moment it costs quite a lot of money um, and money is in short supply you don't you don't get much to spend uh, this is a general store he basically sells bullets uh, quite a few bullets actually bullets and guns and armor by the looks of things um, there is a ma mayor's house uh, and a church uh, but they're not available yet and the last thing is a convent uh, now the convent blesses your weapons and your bullets so they're more effective against uh, yeah against the werewolves essentially um, let's bless, let's bless my bullets here. It costs quite a lot, but it's probably worth it. I don't have much, much money at all at the moment. Uh, let's head back to, let's head back to the village. Okay, now th this map screen is essentially where you set up all your traps. Um, each of these icons represents a creature. Uh, the num, the number, the, the the times number here, times one, means there's going to be one of them coming out. And I have to say, I'm not sure. If this is going to be, if this, I'm not sure if I've chosen the best uh, level here to <laughs> to show you to record. I haven't had had a level yet where all where all of my buildings are being attacked at the same time, and that looks pretty. Yeah, that looks pretty offensive actually. Uh, <laughs> this might be quite tricky. Anyway, uh, irrespective of that, let's give it a go. Um, yeah, each of these each of these uh, little icons represent a creature that are going to come out and attack. Uh, this, there's three waves on this level. Uh, this particular wave appears to be all Willow Wisps, by the looks of it. Uh, Willow Wisps, uh, in this game's lore, tying with the whole werewolf thing. Apparently, they're werewolves that have. They're souls that have gone werewolf too many times. <laughs> and so they've turned into uh, Willow Wisps. Um, hmm. Okay, right, let's look at some of the traps and stuff. Now, if you click on an icon, it tells you which way the, uh, which way the monster's going to walk. Uh, this guy's going to the chicken pen. These two are going to the main house. This guy's going to the water wheel. Uh, that one's going to the chicken pen as well. And then there's one attack attacking the church. So, yeah, got to be, uh, got to be on top of it here. The game, you do feel like you're fighting against the game sometimes. I have to say, when you get into the when you get into the actual the arcade mode version, uh, that the, the, the you know the more sort of practical side of the game when you're actually down at ground level, uh, and that can make it a bit trickier. But uh, I suppose you could say it makes it a little more interesting as well. Um, let's have a look at some of the routes. I think what I'm going to try and do is f uh, force, basically force these guys to go, um, force these guys to go to go a certain way. Uh, basically, maybe try and get them to all come to the same point. Um, I'm using a firewall. That's the first one of uh, uh, one of my. Uh, one of the, the sort of things I can use, and I can block a section off basically. Uh, which, if, what I might do actually is remove that because I can see that on one of the other waves that, that creature is going to come out. But what I might do is put it here so it affects him as well. Yeah, so the firewall means that um, the creatures can't go through it. So uh, this dude now has got to change his route, he's going right up there to the coop. So if I block that off as well. Um, that will 
probably mean that this guy has got to go Ooh, no, he'll just go that way. Of course he will. <coughs> okay. Uh, some of your traps cost money, and some of them cost action points. So you've got to be careful. Uh, these don't. The, uh, the the fire walls don't cost money, but they do cost action points. So yeah, got to be a bit a bit careful there. Um, he's going to the house. So what I potentially what I could do, certainly for the ones at the lower level, is basically force them to go all the way around. So this guy's now got to go all the way around there. This guy's got to go follow the same route, uh, and that guy will also follow the same route. Um, this chap's going to the chicken route, so he's got to go all the way. So, so I've actually, by using those firewalls, I've, I've these four uh, have essentially got to come all the way around <coughs> and sort of go past at the similar spot. Maybe I can set a trap for them. So the only two I've got to worry about now, uh, essentially, is well, actually, I mean, I'm I'm kind of abusing the firewalls here, but um, it's probably going to use up most of my action points. <laughs> maybe what I could effectively do is then also force uh, if I block off these routes here. Um, So I've now forced this guy to come all the way around here as well. So essentially what we've got is we've got five five Will-O-Wisps all coming down the same route. Um, some of them have obviously got a lot longer to travel to get there. Uh, but they're all, yeah, they're all sort of m moving. They're all going to be sort of crossing a similar area. Uh, and here seems to be a pretty, uh, a pretty good place to place a trap. What I might do is place a trap here somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's put it just there. Now that's a hanging net trap. What you have to do, you have to shoot that when there are, when there are um, creatures underneath it and it falls on them and kills them. Uh, so that's kind of the five of them all, all sort of he heading to a similar area. The only one I've got left now is this guy. Um, I'm not quite sure what I can do about him. None of none of the normal traps at the moment affect the willow wisps apart, will, willow wisps apart from the the hanging net. So <coughs> I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll place a wayside cross at my church. Sorry, at the main building. If I activate that, essentially what that does is um, uh, da damages creatures within its sort of sphere sphere of influence. Bonfire makes creatures scared. Uh, there's like a fear, there's a fear bar, although some monsters don't seem to take any notice of it at all. But there's a fear bar, basically, that um, uh, it's, it's, how, it's how scared the creatures are of you. If they're, if they're scared of you, they stand off a bit uh, and give you time to sort of, you know, just sort of, uh, you know, collect your thoughts. <laughs> and maybe sort of, you know, uh, help, help, with, help you to plan things a bit more if, if you're in a tricky situation. Standing by a fire increases that. It does go down though, so eventually the monsters will will attack you. Um, so that, that's 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 uh, that's wave one, and essentially we've got all of the creatures, uh, all but one of them, kind of travelling along a similar a similar route. Um, these two are coming to the house. Coming, yeah, it's coming a long way around that one. Okay, so we've got some time. That, 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 that this one here is going to get to the building first. What I might do is, um, it's going to come out and come around there. What I might do is, if is, is use my tower, my uh, slip line uh, thingy. Where's, where is it? There we go. Yeah, my zip line. <coughs> um, just to, to, to fast travel across to there and deal with that one first then come back and deal with the rest that might be the way to do it although this guy is actually going to get to the building quite quickly by the looks of things um, but we'll see how we'll see how we go we will see how we go that guy's got to go the long way around hmm okay it might be an idea to wait here and maybe activate this trap I don't I don't know I really I'm really not sure um, we'll have to see Maybe we'll get this guy first because he's the only one that's uh, kind of on his own. Well, that's wave one. <laughs> yeah, wave two. Here we go. Um, what do we got? Wave two. Uh, we've got three normal wolves. 
uh, they're going this way. For those guys, I'm going to put down a spike trap. Uh, the spike traps activate if three or more creatures step onto it. So when those wolves step on there, hopefully that will kill them all. We've got a grand wolf. Um, I think I might place a bit of bait down. Uh, bait means that the wolves will stop and feed. So it just gives you some time actually to, uh, yeah, just to get yourself, j just, just buys you some time basically if, you, if you're struggling. Uh, these Willow Wisps are heading straight to the house. Uh, they will be perfect. Uh, they will be perfect for a, a hanging net trap. So we'll put that up. Uh, we can lure them into that, basically. What I might do, actually, is move it a bit closer this way. Move it up this way a bit. There we go. Uh, so that's wave two. Right, wave three. Uh, okay. Hmm. Wave three. Two grand werewolves uh, are going for the church. I'm going to put a bonfire at the church. That might help. Um, there's a trap there. I don't know why, why I've got that. I'm going to put down a couple of some... What are they doing? I'm going to put down some bait, actually. There we go. Uh, just to slow them down. So they'll, they'll stop and feed at the bait as they go along. But then what we have is we've got some uh, Mycan Shaman. Um, these guys are having, that, that one's having to take a long way around which is quite good. This one's going to be going to be coming through here quite quickly so I'll deal with that one first. Um, I'm not sure if, it, if, if traps affect it at all. Uh, I suppose I could put a, put a couple of uh, wolf traps along the route. Oh, not there. That's no good is it? That's no bloody good. Put a couple of wolf traps along the route. Just to slow him down a bit. Might even do him some damage, I'm not sure. <coughs> okay, so that's it. <laughs> Trying to remember everything that's going on. <laughs> I'm going to deal with these will o wisps first. Um, I'm, not quite, <laughs> I'm not quite sure uh, whether to ch dash up there and, and get that one first. Uh, there will be a few, you know, getting quite close at a similar time. Some of them have got to go quite a long way round. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, that guy's got to go. That guy's got a long route as well. I'm not sure, but let's go into the game anyway. Now, just before I do, I'll show you the skill tree. There are skill trees. Uh, I haven't got any points to spend on anything that I want at the moment, but they all do different things. They, in, they improve your traps, uh, improve your health, your reloading your gun, all that sort of thing, essentially. So, yeah, uh, you've, got, you've got that side of it as well. So here we go. Unused skill points, yep, yeah, no problem. Now, hopefully, we'll, we'll complete this mission. As I say, it could be a complete disaster because um, things are going everywhere, essentially. But I'm hoping to to at least finish the finish the <laughs> finish this particular level, so you get you get a sort of a, a, a thing for the whole game. Now, I'm going to use my my trip my uh, my. Get down here. Okay, and I'm going to use a going to use a potion to allow me to sprint because uh, everything affects your stamina. You see, sprinting every bloody thing. So you've really got to be careful with your with your stamina. Uh, what I want to do is get round to this guy and kill him first. So we'll, we'll mostly be. Uh, Meleeing this dude, I think, probably. Oh, quick, kill him. Right, dead. Okay, I'm going to use another potion to, to allow, allow me to sprint, essentially. Because I need to get back. Let's get back quick. I've wasted two stamina potions there, but it might be worth it. We'll see. I haven't got to worry about the church, which is which is quite good. Uh, although it looks like the main house is under attack. Yeah, it does seem as though it is. I'll activate the cross. There we go. Now the things with these guys is they go they go under the ground. Uh, if you don't if you don't kill them, if, if their health gets too low, uh, they go under the ground. 
there we go, which can be a pain in the ass. So I've got three left. Um, it doesn't appear as though I'm really going to be. Any of them are going to be falling in any traps. Uh, we've got this, this guy first. Let's pull him. Can I pull him into the circle a bit? Yeah. Okay, dead. Right, so this has worked out quite well um, so far. <laughs> oh, bugger. Saying that. I think I think I think causing them to walk walk the long way round will certainly help, I think, probably. Oh yeah, there we go. I was a bit worried about this wave. It seems to be seems to be working out okay. There's my gun which I don't need to use at the moment. Now I think I think remember the second wave is all coming from, from that way. A couple of things to note on the on the map there. There's a green cone, uh, and that's my scent. Um, any creatures in that will be, will detect you by scent, and you can. Ch I've, got a I've got a little amulet that I can change the. Um, I can change the, uh, the, the the sort of the um, direction of the wind. Yeah, so essentially, you can sort of make them sort of smell you, so they detect you and chase after you, or you can. You can sort of move, move your scent away from them, essentially. <laughs> right, okay. Now we've got to get ready for, uh, for wave two. And I believe these guys are coming through here. <coughs> now, if I remember, there's a pack of wolves that I'm hoping are going to die quickly. Um... There's a, a grand wolf or two that, that is going to stop and eat the. Um, that's going to stop and eat the uh, the food there. No, don't go off yet. Oh bugger! Okay, so some of the wolves died there. Not not. Oh, okay. I think quite a lot of them died there actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make a noise. Make stew from what's left of you, dang yeah. Make a noise to attract the creatures. So they will go to the point they heard the noise at. And then I shoot the trap. And they all don't die. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I kind of thought they might die there, but no. <laughs> That's fine. Not a, not a problem. So I've now got to deal with them all. Uh individually I didn't I didn't I kind of thought that might kill them so yeah it didn't didn't work out too well oh no see they've gone under to heal themselves I'm gonna use a, a stamina potion so I really need to finish these guys off quickly really I've got one of them Stop it! Leave me alone! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I mean these things are immensely annoying. I'm probably going to let's use a health potion. There we go. Use my, my last stamina potion actually because oh that one's gone down. Okay. Just not doing enough damage to them. That's the, that's the real problem. That's one dead. Let's get this wolf. At least I can do some damage to the wolves. <laughs> That helps. <laughs> How many have we got left? Two dudes left. Okay. Stop it. Holy smoke. Oh, 
Okay, dead. God damn these little goddamn buggers. That's my last healing potion. Still, we're doing we're doing okay. Okay, dead. <laughs> right. Now, if I can remember, there's two grand wolves heading for the uh, the church at the top. Um, press tab to view map. Yeah, there's these two guys heading at the top there, heading to the church. Uh, but I've got some bait down for those, so hopefully they'll take a while. And then there are a couple of Mike, uh, a couple of Mike, and a couple of Mike and guys coming that way. I don't have anything else laid down much in the way of traps and stuff, so. Uh, yeah. Let me go and get... I think did, they, they detected my scent there. I kind of didn't realise. Uh. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. I've trapped him though. Headshot. Kind of a headshot. <laughs> Dead. Okay. Two guys coming around this way. Ah, I've got a trap here, look. Oh no, wrong way, Bob, you fool. Oh no, these guys are running really fast. The two grand werewolves are are, are um, eating my bait though, which is quite good. Yeah, so the fire kind of makes them a bit wary. I don't really have too much time to muck about. Okay, okay we got one. Oh, damn. Damn. Got him. Okay. Quick! Quick! The church is being attacked! Big time! Get down there! Quickly, Bob, you fool! Okay, these guys are grand werewolves, I believe. Um. Oh, sugar! <laughs> oh, these guys are pretty tasty. Oh man, he's not scared at all. Oh man, I think, I think he's enraged. This guy. Oh no, whipping my butt. God damn, I'm gonna die. I'm nearly dead. They're both enraged. I'm hardly doing any damage. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I've got no no traps left. Oh, they have knocked my platform down. Oh, but dead. Oh, I'm dead. God damn.
Loading times are quite quite long. Loading times can be, which is a bit of a pain. I think I think this video has been quite long, guys. So I think I'll probably end this here. Um, hope that's given you some sort of idea of uh, San Foir, what it's all about. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I don't know if really I would say to anyone, yeah, it's absolutely worth spending twelve pounds on uh, eleven, twelve pounds, whatever it was. For me, it has been. It's really good, but some people might put off by the production values and the you know the script and that kind of thing but i think it all adds to the game's charm personally i think it's uh yeah really cool anyway guys i think i'll end the video here this has been uh sam hope you enjoyed it and i'll speak to you again soon